It's an extraordinary looking thing, with a tiny passenger compartment and a motorsport style keel running beneath the car, and the 0010 dynamic mission is demonstrated by the fact that the face it presents to the wind is as much gap as it is body work. According to Mark Reichman, Aston Martin's chief creative officer, approximately 100 copies will be built, the final figure is still being decided, with two variants one being fully street legal and one being track only. We'll have to wait until later for the full shock and awe statistics, but the critical one comes with confirmation from the man who led Red Bull's side of the project, Chief Technical Officer Adrian Newey, that the track version aims to be as fast as an LMP1 class Le Mans endurance racer. The one that is going to be LMP1 levels of performance will be the track only car, Newey told us. Then we'll make a road version of that. Many parts will be common, but obviously it will have an interior in it and won't have quite the big wings of the track car. There will be differences, but the cars will be closely related. To put that into perspective, that means that around a circuit like Silverstone in the UK, which a McLaren P1 or a Porsche 918 would lap in around 2 minutes, the AMRB01 will have to be 20 seconds quicker. The LMP1 Porsche 919 hybrid that set fastest lap during the race there this April clocked 1.40.303.